Let's talk about physics. Yes, from cosmology and the universe to the quantum world of atoms and molecules. From Newton to Einstein with a lot of curiosity. Hello, I am Anya. Welcome to our show. Let's talk about physics. Hello, I am Matteo. Welcome to our show. Let's talk about physics. In the 10th episode of this series, let's talk about combining quantum mechanics with Einstein's special theory of relativity. Einstein's 1905 breakthrough, the special theory of relativity. Fast forward 20 years, Schrodinger knew of Einstein's work. He discovered the Klein-Gordon wave equation, a relativistic wave equation, but those strange solutions, negative kinetic energy, too exotic. So Schrodinger published his non-relativistic wave equation instead. And that's how the Schrodinger equation became legendary. Anya, I agree with you. Schrodinger's decision was spot on, earning him the Nobel Prize in physics in 1933. Like in classical mechanics, in non-relativistic quantum mechanics, particles always have positive kinetic energy. Schrodinger's wave equation is the first students learn in quantum mechanics. Meanwhile, Klein and Gordon independently published their own wave equation. Their equation is the first relativistic wave equation students encounter. Today, we know relativistic equations can have exotic solutions. These solutions show particles with negative kinetic energy. Quantum mechanics continues to intrigue and challenge our understanding. The legacy of Schrodinger, Klein, and Gordon lives on in physics. Their discoveries paved the way for modern quantum theories. Dear Matteo, you are well informed. In 1928, Dirac discovered a new wave equation he was able to make sense of the existence of exotic solutions with negative kinetic energy. In 1933, Dirac and Schrodinger shared the Nobel Prize. In 1936, Anderson discovered the positron, the antiparticle of the electron. He received the Nobel Prize for this in 1936. These discoveries proved antimatter's existence. Antimatter existence supports Einstein's special theory of relativity. Anya, you know a lot. Let's summarize our discussion today. Non-relativistic quantum mechanics is like the classical world, but with a twist. The Schrodinger wave equation is our guiding star, with solutions that feel familiar. Just like in classical mechanics, particles here always have positive kinetic energy. But when we dive into relativistic quantum mechanics, things get wild. The Klein-Gordon equation is simple, but Dirac's equation steals the show. Here, exotic solutions emerge, where particles have negative kinetic energy. These are linked to antimatter, a whole new frontier. Matteo, we should add a comment about the grave de Peralta's equations. A century after Schrodinger's equation, Professor Grave de Peralta made a groundbreaking discovery. He found a pair of equations that unlock both common and exotic solutions to the Klein-Gordon equation. These equations resemble Schrodinger's, unifying relativistic and non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Yes, Anya. We will talk about this in the next episode. Ciao, Anya. I love you, and we love our audience. See you in the next episode.